Dr. Calford, in your view, how do you think the new airport has changed the overall consumer experience? It has changed the consumer experience by a very big distance. Uh, there is no comparison, to be honest, between what we have today and what we had in the old airport at all. It is a completely different business, it's a different environment, and we have also different products. The experience for uh, our passengers, our uh, you know, uh, guests and our uh, shoppers is quite different. There is a, you know, the venue is different, the architecture is different, the atmosphere is different. Our service, we are ever improving, you know, in the uh, presence of our own uh, staff and how they engage with the people. And I believe there is a different uh, experience to be given to different categories of uh, shoppers, whether it's the business people, the families, the kids, or even the tourists or just the regular uh, passenger that travels through our airport? Well, you certainly have a very broad range of products now. I understand they're approaching uh, 30,000 SKUs, which is significant. Uh, it's actually a quantum leap on what existed beforehand. Mm -hmm. um, How has this been received by passengers? We have a lot of feedback from uh, different uh, passengers. Of course, we are also interacting with them myself on different businesses. We are doing ground handling and uh, airport uh, operation as well. And therefore, we see the engagement between the shopping experience and the traveling experience. Uh, the product range, we have uh, over 500 brands. My ultimate goal is to ensure that every passenger that travels has a, a view of these uh, products. There is a lot to be shown. Unfortunately, in the airport, in any airport, the passenger is always in a hurry. And because the geography of our uh, shops is uh, the way it is, we are improving on how we, yani on how we tell the story, how, our, how we want the shoppers to experience our products, to find this product here or that product there. Is navigation an issue for you in terms of getting around? I the think shops? it might it might be an issue for many airports. Our current design of the terminal, we have three piers, and our uh, you know duty free shops is you know in the in, in the center of this. If people decide to go this way, there is a chance that they miss some of the products on the other side. But we are overcoming this by technology by wayfinding, by guiding passengers into these areas. We are de developing services for different uh, you know, uh, guests so that we take them around where they need to. You've talked earlier about the complete transformation of the um, retail environment here. Yeah. Uh, in terms of the feedback that you've had so far, yeah. what are the key learnings um, that, that you've taken from what your customers have been saying? Number one is the venue, the shop itself. Many people are very happy, you know, to be, you know, to, to have this uh, venue in Muscat Air International Airport. So they are, they believe that this is something that's outstanding. The type of products, it goes even to the point that some of our local shoppers believe that our products ha are different than even what they can find in the city or elsewhere. Yes, you've got at least 30 brands. Even, even, the, even some of the products themselves, you know, the original products that we bring in here, the authenticity of these products, many people, you know, have this close to their heart. That's one of our differentiators for uh, this uh, facility. Now, the staff themselves, they have come up now in a new uniform. We have a new brand for the, for the company and for Muscat Duty Free. And these are, you know, coming together. Of course, we've been around in the new airport for about six months now. And in the beginning, you know, to transit from the old airport into the new airport for some of the passengers to, yeah, and they, there is a distraction in the beginning to venture around and uh, wander in the new airport and the time it takes them to reach their gates and so on. This is now maturing. So passengers now, many of them have already visited the airport a few times. They have already, you know, uh, picked what, what they want to uh, shop. Because yeah. of the size and scale of the operation now, yeah. you've also got a major job in terms of 
changing the culture of the staff, changing the mindset, the approach, different business learnings are yeah. required of them given the, the offer that's out there. Yeah, and we are actually investing a lot on that. We have a lot of training, you know, for the staff, a lot of personal engagement, you know, with them to try to bring about, you know, the best in their, uh, you know, attitude and service towards the guests. We have a purpose we have created for our group, which is to make people happy. And I think a lot of people, when they buy and they shop around, it's either to make themselves happy, or if they are buying a gift for somebody, it's to make other people happy. And now we are playing in that, you know, and trying to very much to invest in our staff in there. The second thing is we are also investing in technology. We have dynamic, you know, real-time uh, data on the, you know, uh, performance of our shops. We know what uh, moves well and we know where uh, our weaknesses are and we are, you know, adopting and changing uh, by day. And this helps us to bring the best uh, service to our customers and of course also to ensure that we have the maximum, you know, uh, commercial uh, objectives met. But of course what's going to make you happy? is to see the average transaction value uh, and basket size uh, increase considerably um, and particularly um, do better than your expectations. How much, you know, what can you say that you've delivered in the six months to date? Of course, Yanni, uh, compared to what we were doing in the previous uh, airport, it is much, much bigger, you know, uh, as a leap in our uh, revenues. The space is five times bigger the range of products is over double and this type of uh, products that we have is quite large and of course this will bring about uh, you know better revenues uh, in terms of uh, meeting uh, our expectations we are probably around 20 percent over our uh, expectations and we are com uh, continuously improving in that uh, area that's a great result and in fact what many consider that you've achieved here is something that isn't just a great regional execution yeah. but also great retail for when it comes to comparisons with the rest of the world yeah. um, how do you see the retail evolving here where do you want to be in two or three years time we need to bridge the gap in our uh, spend per passengers this is a reality we are working on and we believe now the airport experience the product range that we have the elevation in the quality of products that we have, this will help us uh, to reach and we want to be above the average in this uh, market. This requires a lot of uh, hard work. Already we have the platform for it. We have the venue, we have the products, we have the management, we have the partnership. It is now about, you know, delivering on those uh, ingredients. You recognize the importance of brands. What type of brands do, would you like to see additionally um, added to your current mix over the next two to five years? Actually, not only two to five years. We are actually already working on it. We, we, need to, uh, we are working on uh, attracting some high-end uh, and luxury uh, brands. We have the space for it. We are yes. now in some uh, in the negotiation for which, uh, which of them to select. We believe that Muscat International Airport, with its new uh, infrastructure, its new image, is able you know, to provide uh, you know, a choice for everybody, all type of passengers. The venue is there. The airline, Oman Air and other airlines, are growing in this airport. And we believe there is new destinations that are being marketed. And with those, we will have an influx of uh, some high-end uh, retail products. Exciting times ahead. Very exciting. And we look forward you know, to continuously delivering choices and value for money for our uh, guests and passengers.